Uh, regarding the LBB, it's easier. So we agree that if you find the duration more than 120, we will think about the RBB and LBB. How to, so how to diagnose the LBB? It is simple. So you'll find a small R wave here and deep S wave in lead V1. And the duration, the QRS complex, more than 120 millisecond. Yani more than three small square. The other criteria, absent of the Q wave in the 1 and A, V, L and V5, this is not important. The most important in V1, you find the QRS complex negative. Okay. Uh, the other important things about the LBB is this concordant. What we mean by the by this concordant, if you find SC segment depression or T wave inversion, in the opposite direction of the QRS complex, for example, if it is positive and the T wave or the S wave is negative, this is a normal finding. In V1, V2, V3, if you find the ST segment elevation in the opposite direction of the QRS complex, this is normal finding, this is called this concordance.